Well, we took we came out and we took them right to took it right to them uh, from the bat, and we didn't flinch um, throughout the game. You know, they have big time playmakers. You know, Ratcliffe, uh, Henders, and then you know uh, Butler got hurt. And even their backup Jackson, they, you know, they're really good skill-wise. But where we needed to win the battle, we won it, and that was up front. And I thought controlling the line of scrimmage um, on both sides of the ball made us effective. And, you know, there's no secret to football. Usually the people that win up front win, but they're so scary because sometimes those guys were making plays without any blocking. Mm -hmm. And... You know, we were able to disrupt timing defensively and offensively. The first half is the way our offense is supposed to run. You know, Zach probably checked. We ran 50-something plays in the first half, and he probably checked out of at least 20 plays that I called. And then finally on one series, I just put him in fast offense where I didn't call anything, and we went right down the field. I might have called one play when he looked over on the third and long. Mm -hmm. um, but. This is the way the offense is made to run. It's made to run by the quarterback making decisions, not being afraid to check. If he makes a bad check, I'm going to live with it. I'm going to talk to him about it. But um, I haven't seen it in a long time. I think they've been so dependent on me calling the plays. And tonight, it wasn't that. It was Zach making good decisions, checking, getting the ball in our playmakers' hands. Um, and, you know, our defense played phenomenal the first half, only 17 plays, but I think a lot had to do with offense and it was good team football. Um, you know, they had a couple big special teams plays, but we answered with one. Mm -hmm. And then we answered with a defensive score. So, you know, it's kind of like at practice. I don't want to see it one-sided. It's mm -hmm. the same thing in the game. I need to see plays being made in all three facets, and I thought that's what happened tonight. Um, talk about you know coming off a couple of disappointing losses, um, you know where you're in the game for long stretches of time, and just talk about the resiliency of the team and being able to bounce back from that with uh, you know really one of the best defensive performances you've had in a year, or well, several years. The big thing, the big message was as soon as the Frostburg game was over, and I uh, just just faith. You got to have faith in each other. You got to have faith in what the coaches are, t are trying to teach you or have you do. And you have to have faith in yourself and trust and belief. And that's all we. That's all I talked about in the locker room after the Frostburg game because at times it looked like we didn't trust each other. At times we didn't look like we trust the system. At times, you know, and it wasn't the whole time. It was just at times I can see, you know, when you do this for a million years, it seems like. You can tell the look in some of their faces. So I didn't even talk X's and O's. I didn't talk effort. I talked about faith, trust, belief. And it was probably one of the longest talks I had with them. Um, but we came out, we practiced. So you could see during practice that they were trusting in what they were doing. Um, and that made the difference. Uh, talking about playmakers, uh, you got two sitting right here with you. It's uh, uh, Clay. Start with you on the defensive side. Um, what were you guys looking for coming into this game, and you know, how how were you able to make the plays that you made? Uh, just a, a great week of practice. Um, Coach Monty definitely had a good scheme coming into this one. Uh, we game planned for him really well. We we had a really good week of practice. We knew what they were going to do in certain situations, certain formations, whatever it might be, and. Uh, we had some good play calls come in, and we just we executed like we were supposed to. So. Um, Isaiah, uh, some great plays tonight, and that, that that long pass. I mean, that was really uh, that was really the backbreaker, you know. And how bad did you want to get in the end zone? <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> <laughs> how close did you come? One yard more. That's. <laughs> Um, what um, and you also had some other plays that uh, maybe weren't as flashy, but you converted some big third downs and everything. And uh, when you get in a third situation, you know, you know, third down conversion, keep the drive going. Do you want that ball coming to you in that situation? Yes, sir. I feel like 
Coach Wawa has faith in me. I feel like the team has faith in me. I just want to make plays for them, make plays for myself, and keep us going. Uh, Rick, you want to go? Uh, Roger, how big was that defensive scout? It looked like Glenville had all the momentum. It looked like, you know, it's 23 17, and it looked like they might come in and score, but then your defense comes up big. A couple of sacks, he had a couple of them. Um, just how big was that sequence there? And then you come back and you come back and get the touchdown and really grab that momentum back. Yeah, I mean, definitely things were swinging their way, and it started with, you know, special teams, and we throw a pick six, and, you know, we knew they had a great return team, but again, it's just being resilient and having the faith in each other and not panicking. And that's the one thing is that, you know, you, you don't see anybody get too emotionally high or too emotionally on this team. You know, then sometimes that's scary for me. You know, I, I was yeah. worried about our offense during camp because every time they'd score, nobody'd celebrate. And then they I'd say, what's going on? And they said, well, you know, you told us act like we've been there before. So you can go at least slap his hand or something. But on the same sense, defensively, you know, I think they finally comprehend like, hey, we got to play the play we're in. I'll worry about the coaches. We'll worry about the next play. Nobody cares about the last play. Just play the play you're in. And we were able to. The big key to all that is we made them one dimensional. Mm -hmm. You know, they were unable. They weren't able to run the football effectively. And, you know, with a run happy team and you got Mario Penders in the backfield, you got Jackson, you got play. We were able to make them one dimensional and make them throw the ball. But that's because up front we controlled the line of scrimmage with the D line. Um, they weren't getting gigantic big holes to run through. They were, had to run through some smoke and then our backers were stepping up making plays. He had two big sacks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one was he was coming, they changed, they motioned, and we switched it to a different blitz, and then he came and made the play. And he's unaccounted for in that formation. And we're able, you know, one of the things that happened on the first sack, it was, you know, people don't notice, but the defensive end was running with Penders and didn't give him a free shot. That's why you had to hold the ball. So some of the sacks come with coverage, but we were able to cover up when we were blitzing and not leave people wide open. And I think that was a key to that series. Number one, we knew they were one dimensional. Number two, we caught them in the blitz. And, you know, we knew that David Gilchrist can run a little bit and so can Kenyon. And I don't know which one was running with him, but somebody was stride for stride and the quarterback looked and he had to hold on to the ball. Were well, you guys um, thinking, you know, we have to make some plays here. I mean, just, you know, how important was that series for you guys? I mean. What were you thinking out there? Yeah, it was big. We knew that they were catching some momentum, and uh, we had to go out and get a stop or a big play or something. Uh, you know, we relayed that on the sideline and even on the field. We needed to step up, and that's what Coach Monty, he did a really good job calling some plays for us, recognizing some situations so we could go out and make some plays and, and get that stop. So. Then how did that carry over to the offense? I mean, how did you guys kind of kick that momentum and the defense brought The defense brought us energy. They believed in us to, to make plays. Uh, we just carried that energy over, faith in, like as Coach says, faith in each other again. Just heart, honestly, making plays, big plays. The catch that you made, was that a tough catch? I thought the ball was kind of wobbling a little bit. Was it a, was it a tough catch or was it, just, uh, what was it like? Just, I needed a little more concentration on it, making the catch, and, but I secured it eventually. What were you seeing after you caught it? I mean, it looks like you had to make a lot of moves to get down there to the one. I mean, just, I just, just seen, what were you thinking? <laughs> I was thinking, make a play, get to the end zone. End zone every time. Okay. Um, wrapping up here. Uh, back to two and two. Yeah. Um, is this the kind of win that you can build some momentum off of going forward? Yes. I mean, you know, we, you know, uh, and, you know, nobody likes to look at like scores in football because it's all about matchups and how you match up against somebody. But, you know, they took State uh, down to the wire where State had to score on a last minute drive. And that's all we're looking at is State. We want to be 1 0 after every week and let it add up. Um, 
this team's crazy. If I ask them who we played after state, I don't think any of them know. <laughs> the only reason they know we play state is because I told them in the locker room, and that's that's the way things have to be. And then, you know, you can't look ahead, and we have to build off this momentum. Remember the feeling, you know, that they had. Their pregame speech was pretty subtle. It was let things <clears throat> slow down in your mind and play fast with your feet and physically. And I thought we were able to do that on both sides of the ball. It was a different feeling than the first three games of watching them and how they were reacting and, and the plays that they were making. I think things have slowed down for them in their mind and they're not seeing five million things moving. And, you know, it's kind of like sometimes in my early days of coaching, I'd ask the offensive line where they line up, where are they lining up on you? And by the time we're done, there's no way we could beat them. They had 12 men on the field. <laughs> But that's that's pretty much you know how much it slowed down for them tonight is that they were able to make plays and they were able to see things. And, you know, we talk about skill, but even with the offensive line, as much as they moved up front, they slanted the three technique and the nose. They were moving them around, and then you know they were blitzing the backers when they were when we started moving the ball. And I thought that's where Zach was effective at getting to the quick game because that defeats the blitz. You know, when we're catching and throwing and. We were able to make plays in those situations. In uh, talking about comparative scores, I don't know if you heard, but uh, Frostburg and Fairmont were in overtime when we came down here. Yeah, Frostburg is a good football team. <laughs> you know, that's like I said, each each week you, you got to come play. There's no easy games. I mean, you know, and I do think Notre Dame is you know, the elite team in the conference, and we played with them in spurts. And, you know, the one thing I was harping on was consistency, but I thought to get to consistent, we had to have faith in each other. And we had to have that trust, so I went in a different direction. Um, and it showed we played, you know, fairly consistent. Yes. And uh, kind of bears out what you've been saying all along. Yeah, if, you, if you're looking for consistency, that means you can do it. <laughs> You've done it. And that's, you know, what's the frustrating part. And I'm sure the players are just as frustrated as us and the coach. But the first thing I do is look at what I'm doing first. Yes. And the way, you know, I kept harping on them for three weeks about consistency. And then it came to my mind, if they get consistent, they got to trust each other. they got to have faith in what we're doing. they got to <laughs> believe in themselves. And that's how we went about getting to the level we played at tonight. Because, you know, one time offense and defense in the first half, I don't think we've played as good as that here in a long time. 